This here is the Views XR camera. It can record 360 degrees 2D video footage, but it has a very cool trick up its sleeve. Here is a button, and when you click this button, this happens and the camera becomes a 180 degrees 3D camera with which you can record 3D footage. The full review of the Views XR camera is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this is your first time here. And if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Welcome to my full review of the Views XR camera. It took quite a while for me to make this review because, well, you know, I like to do reviews thoroughly and, well, because of that, I took this camera for a very good spin. I brought it into my vacation to Taiwan where I took lots of photos and videos. Also, I brought this to a Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona where I recorded my final conclusion in 3D with this camera. And now I can finally tell you what I think about this camera. Let's talk about the specs and the price first before we get into the review section. So the most exciting feature, in my opinion, is that this camera can transform from a 360 to D camera, like this mode right now, into a 180 degrees 3D camera. And the only thing that you got to do is click on this button here and this will happen. And now you got a 180 degrees 3D camera. Very, very cool. Now, for the video resolutions, either you shoot in 4K resolution, then you can do 60 frames per second, or you go for the higher 5.7K resolution, then you can record in 30 frames per second. For the pictures that you can take, they are recorded in 18 megapixels. And the Views XR camera will set you back $439. You can get it on Amazon.com right now and the link is in the description below. Now let me show you how to operate the camera and what kind of buttons and interfaces it actually has. So I showed you this here already, right? This is the button that lets you change the modes. This is 360 mode and this is 180 degrees mode. If you want to go back, just do this here and well, it is truly that simple. Then here is one button. With this button, you can actually take a picture or start the video and stop the video depending on which mode you are in. And we're going to get to this point a bit later. Then here is the on button. So I just turn it on. And the button above it is the Wi-Fi button. If you want to connect this camera to your um, smartphone in order to get a preview of what you're seeing, then you would simply click on the Wi-Fi button. And yeah, that's it. So here you have um, an LED which will show you in which mode you are. So right now we are in the video mode. Now, if I click on the on and off button, this will change. Like now I'm in camera mode. So now if I click on this button here, I will take a picture. And well, if I click on it again, I'll go back to video mode. So now when I click on this button, the video will start. And if I click on it, on it again, the video will end. So it's truly that simple. And well, if you use the app, the iOS or the Android app, then you can do everything also remotely on your Android device or iOS device. Yeah, it's so simple. Then here, here actually we have, oops, I just started a video. <laughs> Let me stop that again. So here, here, as you can tell, we have micro SD for storage. And here we have a USB-C connection to connect this to your computer and to charge it because, well, you don't need any batteries. The battery is inside and you simply charge via USB-C. And here on the bottom, you have a mount so you can simply mount this on any of your tripods. All right, so now let's get to the review section of the Views XR. Did I like the camera? Can I recommend it to you? What are the pros and cons? First of all, yes, I like this camera a lot. 
and I can recommend it to you wholeheartedly. But let's get to the pros and cons. So let's start with the part that is probably the most exciting for all of us VR fans. And this is the 180 3D mode. I truly, truly enjoyed this mode a lot. So first of all, this here is my second 3D camera. The first one was this here. This is the Lenovo Mirage camera. I liked it. However, it did have some little problems. First of all, the resolution was not so great. This could only do videos in 4K resolution. And my biggest problem was that the audio simply was not in sync with the video. So the footage that I made with this was not really so usable. Now the 3D footage that I make with this camera, with the Views XR camera is so much better. First of all, the audio is complete in sync, which is very important, obviously, which is obviously really, really important. And also in terms of the quality, the 3D picture, it looks sim simply beautiful. And when you see your footage in the VR headset, you will feel nearly as if you are there again. It is pretty amazing. So as I told you before, I did quite a lot of footage with this camera and you can check it yourself. I put a link to the 3D footage that I took at Mobile World Congress down in the description of this video. So why don't you simply have a look yourself what kind of videos this camera can do when it's in its 3D 180 degrees mode. I really, really enjoyed it. Watch the footage in your VR headset with the YouTube VR app to see it in full 3D. As what the resolution is concerned, I told you that this camera can do 4K, just like the Mirage camera. And in that case, the video is being stitched by the camera itself inside the camera, or it can do 5.7K, which is a very nice step up in resolution. In that case, though, you have to download the video to your computer and stitch it there. And about this stitching process, I can simply tell you it is much simpler as you would imagine it to be right now. So when I first heard about, oh, you have to stitch it yourself, I thought like, wow, that sounds really complicated. How would I do so? I have no idea about stitching like um, 3D videos, but actually it's really simple. They give you a software, you download the, the video, or actually you simply connect this camera to your computer and yeah, you click on a button. But let me show you that how it really works in a little video. So this is how the software looks like. Now on the left, once you connect the camera, you see all the videos that you took. Now click on open and on the right, this video will open. Now simply choose where you wanna start with your video and where you want the video to end. And that's it. Now you click on render and that part that you choose will be rendered then. Now you have the selection here, custom selection or the YouTube settings or Facebook, everything is already optimized. You can choose a name and you click on render and that's it. That's really all of the stitching process. And now the app will simply stitch it. If you want, you can also choose the stabilization options like no stabilization or yeah, this kind of stabilization here. And um, you simply click on it. And then once you render that stabilization method that you choose will be applied. So also for the stabilization, it's something that happens in the post process. And here, what you see here, this is now the advanced mode. You can do some more settings. So all of this is really not rocket science. It's very simple, something that everyone will be able to do. As you can tell, stitching is really not complicated and you also don't need a supercomputer. I did all this stitching on my laptop and then the file, I directly uploaded it to YouTube and you're done. And on YouTube, people can then watch it in their VR headsets in 3D and 180 degrees. And it really looks nice, as you can tell again, by following the links in the description below, if you want to have a look yourself. So the 180 degrees 3D mode is what I believe would excite us, the VR fans, the most, simply because once you watch your footage 
in your VR headsets. The 3D effect looks amazing. And yeah, it simply feels as if you were there again. So this mode is great. However, I must also tell you that I got the best results only when the camera was stationary. When I was running around in 3D mode, the, the picture was kind of shaky and it's not really so enjoyable when you are watching this in your VR headset. So I tried all the stabilization methods that they offer. However, in the 180 degrees 3D mode, I didn't have great results with the stabilization. And actually the point is, or the reason for this is, the camera doesn't really know do I want to point down to show something or is it because, well, I misstepped. Now for the other mode, the 360 degrees mode, like this, I got great results as well. The video looks amazing. People can look all around. And again, please check the video in the description below. I did some really nice videos in Taiwan when I was walking through the Taroko Gorge National Park and you can look all around. It's simply breathtaking. So for the 360 mode with stabilization, for that mode, the stabilization works much better because for the camera, it knows, hey, we always want to have the horizon stable. So it's much easier for, yeah, for the views camera to stabilize it. And for that mode, you can totally run around with it and stabilization will work great. So if you want a camera for 360 degrees, video into D and if you need stabilization, this will give you amazing results. For all of you who are more into taking pictures rather than recording videos, this camera will also serve you really well. So in order to take pictures, again, simply you need to click on this here. This is the on and off button or the mode selector. And once you are in the photo taking mode, this button here, will serve as the button in order to take those pictures. Again, if you are in this mode here, this is the 360 mode. This will simply take wonderful 360 pictures. And if you are in the 3D and 180 degrees mode, then the button will take pictures in this mode. So it's really so simple. Now, how to get to your pictures? That's easy too. So you simply connect your camera to your phone via the app. You don't need a cable. This is all wirelessly via Wi-Fi. And in your app, you can then see all the pictures that the camera took. You can choose them, select them and download them directly to your phone. And from your phone, you can share them directly to your friends or you can post them on Facebook and people can directly watch or have a look at your pictures on your Facebook stream. It is so simple and it works exactly as you would suppose it should work. So that is very well done. Next, let's talk about the battery life of this camera. So as I told you, this has a built in camera and you can charge it here via the USB USB C port. And one battery, battery charge when continuously taking video, it was good for around one hour. So one hour is okay. But so when I was in this national park, actually, I really used it one hour and it was gone. So the good thing is I had my power bank with me and I simply connected my power bank to it. And then I could simply go on taking my videos. So if you need to charge it on the fly, you can do so. So therefore simply bring enough power banks if you know that you continuously have to shoot and it will work out as well. And finally, let's talk about another feature of this camera and that's live streaming. So yes, this camera can live stream to Facebook and to YouTube. And that's of course very important, especially for content creators like me. So you can live stream and you can choose the bit rate. However, I found one little problem, which for me is a bit annoying. So I was not able to add my branded YouTube channel. So if you don't have a branded YouTube channel, if you have your Adam Smith YouTube channel, that is fine. However, if you have a channel that you branded like me, I branded this MRTV, right? Then I couldn't yet find a way to add this YouTube channel to this camera. So I could only stream to my personal Sebastian Ang 
YouTube channel that is running under the same email address, but I could not use my branded channel. Also, I couldn't find a way to stream to my Facebook page, to my MRTV Facebook page. I could stream to my personal page, to my personal Sebastian Ang Facebook page, but I didn't find a way to stream to my Facebook page, the MRTV Facebook page. Well, I believe this is only a software update away and uh, I'm sure that they are aware of this problem. If not, then they are now. But um, yeah, it would be great if I could stream to my branded YouTube channel and to my Facebook page. For all of you who are not having a Facebook page or a Facebook or a YouTube branded channel, don't worry, you can directly live stream 360 degrees videos to Facebook and YouTube. 180 degree 3D does not work, but 360 and 2D works great. And my conclusion, again, I can wholeheartedly recommend the Views XR camera to you. For $439, you not only get a 360 camera that can record 2D recordings that are really stable, but you will also get a cool 180 degrees 3D camera that can make amazing 3D recordings that are just a joy to watch in headsets. However, for the 180 degrees 3D videos, the footage is the best if the camera is stationary. I need to tell you that. Also, I need to tell you for the live streaming, I didn't get it managed to, um, to stream this to my MRTV branded channel, but for the most of you, probably that's not so important and probably there's going to be a software update which will make this happen. So yes, this is a great camera. I'm really happy to have it. And you're going to see much more 3D footage which I took with the Views XR camera here on this channel. And that's it for my full review of the Views XR camera. If you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to answer them and I really hope that you enjoyed this review and that it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.